is also i think i am sure if the denominator digital sum is to multiply by 5555 and so on up to 9 times and so on up to 9 times 59s are 555 five, five. Five are 45 and sir digital sum it is 9 and sir digital sum it should be 9 now if you see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 it is 9 3 6 8 keep one more 2 to make the question complex here also if you see 1 also keep 3 6 make the question complex right attach one more 9 we have to discuss that logic also 5 3 times 6 times 9 it is also 9 more than 3 answer options digital sum is 9 now we are struck now we are struck so what you can do is very very simple logic you can use pattern observation pattern observation listen carefully sir pattern observation this is the series till nine terms now listen carefully to this concept sir listen carefully to this concept if the question contains numerical values if the question contains numerical values answer also contains numerical values answer also contains numerical values you can use approximation method or which we call it an algebra as pattern recognition method or pattern observation method pattern recognition method you can use when the question contains i told you i think i discussed in the last class in paid batch or a free demo class if the question there are four kinds of questions that will come in algebra question variables answer variables question numerical values answer numerical values question numerical values answer variables question where Question is variables, answer is non-numerical -numer values. This is one of the types. Question is a numerical value. Answer is also a numerical value. You can approximate. What do you mean by approximate? Take the first value. 1 by 0.2. It is 2 by 10, which is 5. If the question contains first numerical value, answer is 5. If I add first to 1 by 2 plus 1 by 0 0.02. First one it is 5, second one it is 50, it is 55. If there is one numerical value, it is 1 5. Two numerical values, 2 5s. Three numerical values, 3 5s. Nine numerical value, 9 5s, which I call it as a pattern. If you are observing the pattern, if you are observing the pattern, 1 by 0 0.2 it is 5, 1 by 0 0.2 plus 0 0.02 it is 55, first question 5, second question 2, 55, two terms it is 55, three terms it is triple 5, nine terms it is 5 nines. I am making the question complicated and discussing some more logics so that you will understand the W and H related concepts. What are W and H related concepts? What to use, where to use, when to use, when not to use, what, where not to use and how to use, how not to use. Complete clarity sir. Complete clarity on the concepts. I hope the idea it is clear. 32nd. 33rd. This is 0.1. This is 3 square. It is 9. Here also it is 3 square 9. 9 plus any number answer digital sum it is 9. So this will be m equivalent to 1 plus 1 plus 1. It is 3. Digital sum. n is 0.3. Digital sum is 3. m plus n. Digital sum is 6. m plus n. It is a digital sum 6. Listen carefully sir. Two methods I will discuss. m plus n 6. 4 plus 1, 5, 8, 9, it is 4, not possible. 4, 4, 4, 12, 3, not possible. 3, not possible. Only one option it is there, but for our sake we will do. What if there are more than one option? Point 0.1, point 0.1 square is point 0.01. These point, after dot, two decimals are there. Square, I will get four zeros. I hope it is clear. N is 0 0.3. 0 0.03. After thought, two digits are there. Four zeros. Again, 0 0.03. Six zero. Three digits, right? Six zeros. 
you can find out by using the last two digits you can find out by using the last two digits this will be 0 0 0 0 this is a 0 1 this is a 0 1 so from that 0 1 plus this also add it i hope the idea it is clear just to find the last two digits of m and n and check it out with the answer option and check it out with the answer option now see here sir listen carefully sir I am doing M plus N. Another way to look at it. M is 0.1 plus something. N is 0.3 plus something. M plus N. M plus N will be greater than 0.4. M plus N will be greater than 0.4. Are you all with me? So, third option and fourth option can be eliminated just by looking at a question. Just by looking at a question. 0.1 plus something, 0.3 plus something. Answer should be greater than 0.4. Third out, fourth out. Then what we have to do is just to take the first two values and check it out <laughs> whether you are getting the answer. 0.3 plus 0.1, 0 0.4. What is the next value? If you see 0.00 plus 0 0.01. So answer is greater than 0 0.01. Answer is greater than 0 0.01. These both are there. So then add this 3 plus this 3. Check it out. These are very, very close to answer option. The third decimal, it is just changing. It is 0 0.02 difference. So, probably go by the last two digits logic. Last two digits, it is not matching. Anyway, 1 will not come right, sir. M plus N. It is going till 5 digits. It is going till... Now, see here. This is 0 0.1 square, 0 0.01. 2 square, it is 4th digit, 0 0.0001, calculation mistake, 0 0.03, 4th digit, it is 0 0.00009, it is the 6th digit, I wrote some extra zeros, don't do that calculation mistake, I hope you understood the calculation mistake which I did, which probably you should avoid it in your examination. What I do, I took the fifth digit, 0 0.1 square plus 0 0.01. This will become 0 0.00001. 0 0.03 square, 0 0.00009. 0 0.00000. 0 0 0 0 0 now, if you see here, these ending with six digits. Is there any number which is ending with six digits? Unit digit should be nine. These also can be eliminated. There are multiple ways to look at it, it from any answer. The, solving this question is of least important to us. Understanding the pattern. 